solutions to perfect problem seven from math 112. Uh, I give you the tangent angle addition formula. That's this mess right here. Anytime you're taking the tangent of something plus something, you can rewrite it like this. And what I'm first asked to do is to use this to prove the double angle formula, that the tangent of 2x is equal to this. Well, essentially, all you have to do is say, well, the tangent of 2x is the tangent of x plus x. So the tangent, maybe up here to save room for later, of x plus x, using this formula right here, would be the tangent of x, because playing the role of a is an x, plus the tangent of x, because playing the role of b is also an x, uh, divided by 1 minus tangent of x times tangent of x. In other words, tangent of x plus another tangent of x, that's just two of these tangent of x things. And then the denominator, 1 minus tangent of x times tangent of x, that's just tangent squared of x. You will check by it because the double angle formula right here looks exactly like that. All right, and then part two gets a little bit crazier. Part two says use that angle addition formula again um, and also use this result to prove the triple angle formula. Well, the way I can do that is I can say the tangent of 3x is really just the tangent of, what did I say to do over here, 2x plus x? So all I gotta do is come up here and look at my angle addition formula. I wonder if I can get that to stay on the page. There we go. And copy this thing, except everywhere you see an a, playing the role of a is 2x. So write 2x. So I got the tangent of, instead of a, I got a 2x. Plus the tangent of b, everywhere you see a b, write an x, because playing the role of b is x divided by 1 minus tangent of 2x times tangent of x. Um, and you're like, yeah, but that doesn't look like it's supposed to look. It's supposed to look like this right here. Right, because I have these tangent of 2x things in here, and I can replace those using my result from part 1. I just figured out that the tangent of 2x is this thing. So everywhere I see a tangent of 2x down here, I can replace it with, let's see if I can get it on the page, 2 tangent of x. This is going to be a little bit tricky. 2 tangent of x divided by 1 minus tangent squared x. That's playing the role of this tangent of 2x. So to that, I have to add tangent of x. And then I want to divide by 1 minus, and then instead of writing tangent of 2x, I'm going to write 2 tangent of x divided by 1 minus tangent squared x. Um, and then that gets multiplied by this tangent of x. So I get this mess right here. Uh, that's not what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like this. Well, let's see if we can do some algebra to get it there. Um, be nice to get a common denominator. Looks like the least common denominator up top would be 1 minus tangent squared of x. So I'll leave this first term alone, 2 tangent of x and divide that by 1 minus tangent squared x. But then I want this guy, tangent of x over 1, to have this as the denominator. So I'll multiply the top and the bottom by this, and I'll get, well, I'll show the extra step, tangent of x times, one. you know what, I'm not going to show the extra step. I think I could talk through it. I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom of this, tangent of x divided by 1, by this denominator, so I have a common denominator. Um, and if you take 1 minus tangent squared x and multiply it by tangent of x, you can distribute through and get tangent of x minus tangent cubed x. And that's over 1 minus tangent squared x. And that's not the whole thing. That's just the top here. On the bottom, I got that same denominator. So instead of a 1, I'll write 1 minus tangent squared x divided by... 1 minus tangent squared x. And then from that I want to subtract. I already have the right denominator here. This tangent of x over 1, I'll multiply this so it's up top. I got 2 tangent squared x over 1 minus tangent squared x. Um, and the nice thing about what I have here is I have a common denominator on the top and a common denominator on the bottom. And if I kind of merge those all together and flip stuff upside down, I'll get 2 tangent of x plus tangent of x minus tangent cubed x divided by 
of 1 minus tangent squared x minus 2 tangent squared x. So what I did there is mash these together. They have the same denominator, so make the, subtract the numerators. Same thing here, mash these together because they have the same denominator, so add the numerators. And then take the one that's on the bottom and flip it upside down. Well, the 1 minus tangent squared x here will cancel with the 1 minus tangent squared x here, and you'll get this thing. And this thing right here simplifies. You got two of these tangent x things plus one more. So you got three of these tangent of x things. And then down in the bottom, uh, you have negative one of these tangent squared x things, and you're taking away two. So you got one minus three tangent squared x. And hopefully that was what I was supposed to get. Three tangent of x minus tangent cubed x. Beautiful. Uh, one minus three tangent squared x. Beautiful. Okay, so that is two. Whew, I got some work to do. What about three? Well, three is the same basic idea. It says you can come up with a quadruple angle formula. You can come up with tangent of 4x. Because all you'd have to do is say that that's equal to the tangent of 2x plus 2x. And you already know that, well, so if you take all that and put it into your angle addition formula, you get tangent of 2x plus tangent of 2x divided by 1 minus tangent of 2x times tangent of 2x. So on the top you have two of these tangent of 2x things. And down on the bottom you got 1 minus this tangent of 2x thing squared. So you get here. But if you look up, you'll be like, that's not the answer. That's not what it's supposed to look like. True, because I also want to use my result from part one, that tangent of 2x equals this. So everywhere I see a tangent of 2x, I'm going to replace it with this thing. Uh, let's see. I guess I got that thing written here. I can copy it from here. I got two times 2 tangent of x over 1 minus tangent squared x. You might be like, isn't that just 4 tangent of x? Yes, it is. Um, but I'm not going to write it that way yet because I want you to be able to see where all the steps come from. So that's this 2 goes here, and tangent of 2x is all this stuff. And then I got 1 minus tangent of 2x squared. But instead of tangent of 2x, I'm going to write 2 tangent of x over 1 minus tangent squared x. Um, and again, this isn't my answer. I'm going to have to algebraically simplify this thing. So it's the easiest way. I don't know. How about 4 tangent of x divided by 1 minus tangent squared x divided by um, the least common denominator here would be this 1 minus tangent squared x squared. So I got 1 minus tangent squared x squared on the top and the bottom. So let's write it this way. This one is this thing. Same thing, something divided by itself is just one, but I wrote it in this form so I'd have a common denominator. Over here I got two tangent of x squared divided by 1 minus tangent squared x squared. And so I can rewrite this as 4 tangent of x divided by 1 minus tangent squared x uh, times, make this all one fraction because you got a common denominator, then flip it upside down, 1 minus tangent squared x squared. Right, that's that common denominator. And then down the bottom here, I'd have this stuff minus this stuff. 1 minus tangent squared x squared minus 4 tangent squared x. Maybe I need to talk about that. That was this stuff went right here because I flipped it upside down when I changed division into multiplication. And I subtracted this stuff, 2 tangent of x squared, 2 squared is 4 tangent of x squared, I write like this. Um, now I can cancel this 
with one of these, you can get 4 tangent of x times 1 minus tangent squared x divided by, and then this canceled with 1 from up there, so I got 1 minus tangent squared x squared minus 4 tangent squared x which I'm sure isn't what I want, but we're getting pretty close. You can almost see it, 4, 4, 1, 6, 1. All right, I can get that. If I take this and distribute it through, I get 4 tangent of x minus 4 tangent cubed x. I think that's cubed. This used to be squared, so now it'd be cubed. And then down in the bottom here, uh, if you expand this all out, you'll get 1. Uh, and then the, I'll just foil it out real quick, minus 2 tangent squared x plus uh, tangent to the fourth of x. But then I got to subtract 4 tangent squared x. And if you combine these two like terms, you'll finally get your answer for tangent of x minus 4 tangent cubed x divided by... 1 minus 6 tangent squared x plus tangent to the fourth x. Wow, I still got to do another one of those. Man, I guess I can't complain if I made you do it. Uh, number four, same basic idea. You're going to come up with the same answer, except now instead of saying tangent of the tangent of 4x is tangent of 2x plus 2 more x, you can say it's 3x plus 1 more x. Uh, so you could say that tangent of 4x is equal to the tangent of 3x plus x. And then if you use your angle addition formula uh, from way back here, playing the role of a is 3x, playing the role of b is just x. So I get tangent of 3x plus tangent of x divided by 1 minus tangent of 3x, tangent of x. Um, and then everywhere you see a tangent of 3x, you can replace it with what you figured out tangent of 3x was equal to, this mess right here. So that's 3 tangent of x minus tangent cubed x divided by 1 minus 3 tangent squared x. So this is tangent of 3x. To that I want to add tangent of x and then divide that entire thing by 1 minus tangent of 3x times tangent of x. And again, tangent of 3x is all this stuff. 3 tangent of x minus tangent cubed x divided by 1 minus 3 tangent squared x. Okay, now, presumably, if I simplify this thing, I'll get the same answer that I've seen a few times now. Uh, let's get a top common denominator up in the top. Is that the easiest way to do this? Yeah, I guess I got to. Okay, so I have 3 tangent of x minus tangent cubed x plus, and then instead of tangent of x, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by this thing. So I'd get uh, tangent of x. minus 3 tangent cubed x. And then this entire thing has the same denominator, so I can just write it over that denominator. That denominator is 1 minus 3 tangent squared x. And that's just the numerator, and i got to work on the bottom here. Uh, but same thing, I want this denominator to be 1 minus 3 tangent squared x. So I'll make this 1 minus 3 tangent squared x. And then from that, I want to subtract. Um, if I take this tangent of x and multiply it up top, I got 3 tangent squared x minus tangent. Let's see, it used to be cubed and one more would make it to the fourth x. And that entire thing is divided by this common denominator of 1 minus 3 tangent squared x. And then if you flip things upside down, some nice magic happens. This and this cancel out, and I'm left with 
See, in the numerator here, I got 3 tangent of x plus 1 more tangent of x. So I got 4 of these tangent of x things. And then negative 1 tangent cubed x minus 3 more tangent cubed x. I got minus 4 tangent cubed x. And then down on the bottom, I got all this stuff. Well, let's see. I got 1. And then I got minus 3 tangent squared x. And then take away 3 more tangent squared x. So I got minus 6 tangent squared x. And then minus and minus makes a positive. So I have plus 1 tangent to the 4th of x. Which you see right here. Looks like I ended up with the same answer. So I'm finally done with all that algebra.